Thank you, David. Bereft is dear students of public administration and hello, Mrs. Max Sudion. I am David's virtual assistant and my name is Diana, and I want to introduce the attitude of an average clerk or bureaucrat, as you call it, and what are the main failures of them. Hey, my name is Abraham. I am now working at a state agency and I think I am doing my job well, no matter what this girl will say. Well, there are three types of bureaucracy failures. The first is the trained incapacity. The second is the occupational psychosis and finally the third is the professional deformation. Okay, so can you now describe or explain the meanings of those three? Very easily, I will explain those types on your example. If you don't mind, I will just ask a few questions to you. Okay, go ahead, but don't forget I don't have much time, I have a lot of things to do. Okay, I will be short Mr. Abraham. First I want to describe what the trained incapacity is. And for that I need you to speak about how you will you behave, if you are suggested a new technology that will ease your work and you could work effectively? No, I have my standard operating procedures and I am accustomed to them. I know the traditional ways of doing my job and I don't accept the innovations and changes. But if they are the case I will do my job as I did it before. Okay, you now clearly describe the first dysfunction. The trained incapacity. In this case the bureaucrat, who is accustomed to his previous skills, may result to false responses under changed conditions. David, please describe it also in Armenian. Now let's proceed. I know you have a great experience, and can you describe to us your likes and dislikes at work time? For example, I never accept to my workplace young girls, they are doing everything bad, and they are spoiling everything on their way. I think they can never get trained. And besides, I never answer the calls from mass media, newspapers or journals. They want to manipulate my words and extract them in another way. They are bastards. Yeah, thank you mister. Now you clearly describe the second misfunction of a bureaucrat, that is, the occupational psychosis. As a result of their day-to-day -day routines, these people develop special preferences, antipathies, discriminations and emphases. David, you should describe this misfunction in Armenian too. Okay, now let us introduce the third type. I want you to answer how do you think about what is going on today in the forests? Or how does the government behave with the ecology? Do you think the forests must be cut? Oh, listen to me baby. My section deals with that problem. And at this time what are you caring about? The trees? The animals? The water? The birds? What about the economy? Our state now needs a strong economy. And for that we need industries, big industries, really big. And I don't care what is the obstacle to that goal. I will uproot any tree, even if it is thousands of trees. Okay, okay that's enough, thank you. Now you clearly introduced the third type of bureaucratic misfunction, that is, professional deformation. This type supposes a tendency to look at things from the point of view of their own profession, rather than from a broader perspective. And David discuss about this type with the auditorium too. Thank you for the attention dear students. And thank you Mr. Abraham. You can proudly consider it as a perfect misfunctioning bureaucrat. Hey don't complain. I was right when I said I don't like the young girls. Yeah, I am perfect, and you are imperfect. Get out of here. Well, I am leaving, see you.